G'day folks and welcome back to the channel for episode number 9 I think it is of our dual wielding acid dervish where I've just hit level 40 um, I put the 3 points into ascension for that extra damage absorption and we've got some new toys to play with um, I did already swap out the gloves um, getting an extra 168 armor on a pair of gloves with a huge amount of other resistances on it as well was too good to pass up. Um, I did get some Saleil Sect leg guards to drop, they do require level 44, and uh, the armor is not amazing on them, um, so I'll hang on to them, but we're going to be wearing these Shadow Weave legs for the time being, um, at least assuming I can figure out some way to fix my poison resistances, so let's find out what we can do here. Um, I'm not sure why I'm juggling this stuff. There we go. That'll do. Alright, so I'm going to swap in that belt on there, that chest to there, that helmet, these shoulders, um, these two weapons, and I think those boots as well. And then we will have a look at our resistances and see what's what. Um, elemental's not awful, poison is very bad, pierce is fine, bleed is also fine, um, vitality's still kept, aether is fine, chaos is, res is kept, so actually it's only the poison, and uh, we can fix that with anti-venom selves, so that's actually not too bad. Um, let's go rip some components off of gear, and, uh, see how we look once we put some components on. Uh, so first things first, keeping the add-ons for the weapons. And we'll just go chuck those back on. Um, I want the add-on there. I want the add-on here. Um, that one I don't really care about. Same for that one. Don't need the silk swatch. Don't need the silk swatch. Keep the add on there, although I didn't really need that one either. Okay, how are we looking now? Ellie res and poison res. It's basically the only huge hole. So let's see what we can do about that. I can put another anti venom salve on something, um, probably the helmet or shoulders. Um, ward stones are amulets and metals, and I think, yeah, I've already got one in each of those, so that's no good. Radiant gem, I can't use, so actually our elemental resistances are kind of stuck being, um, broken? We'll say broken. Um, I could put the equilibrium back on for that. Um, I think we'll actually have to do that. This um, gluttony is really good because of the proc, 10% chance on attack for that lifesteal proc, but 2% attack damage converted to health, um, uh, we get more than that from the ghoul, 4% there. This, I've never seen ghoulish hunger trigger, um, I'm not saying it hasn't, I'm just saying I haven't noticed it. We get lifesteal from this, um, we could also... Is it the rat? No, it's the fox, isn't it, that has the 6% in it. Um, and we could also take the fox. The raven, I don't think it's very good for us. It does have a lot of offensive ability. So, could do that. I could take the, uh, the three points out of the jackal. And one, actually, you know what, I'm going to do that. And we're going to leave Equilibrium on for the Elemental Resistances because I am not going anywhere after Act 1 without capped uh, Resistances. So we can take that blue and we'll take the Jackal completely out. That unfortunately I think, yeah, we'll have to put the blue back to get Murmur. Uh, but we will take the Fox for right now for that attack damage converted to health. 
Um, and then actually we probably could even... Do we need red for Murmur? We need three. I've got three. Okay. We'll keep the ghoul. That's fine. Um, and later on, I'll take points out of the fox. This... It's all bleeding, basically. Which is useless for us. Um, I should have done this before I did that. But uh, let's see if there's any other... On, um, attack damage. Attack damage converted. That's 3% and it's a bunch of vitality stuff. That's not particularly good. Uh, what about the frog? Or the toad, I guess. Vitality, aether, pet stuff. Yeah, that's not great either. Definitely not going for up there for that. I think the fox is our best bet for now. We'll probably end up getting the revenant later on. Um, I It is in the plan, but it's way away for a while now. Um, it's a ways away, that is. Um, spider doesn't have any. We're getting spider later as well. Um, we'll just leave that for now. That should be fine. Which means we need to come up with a little more Aether. This is not the end of the world. Um, how much are we overcapped by? 13. It's not... don't want illusions. Is it this one? Gluttony, Silver Core, Fixing Prism, Rotten Heart. Aether Soul. So we could use this, um, and I'm going to buy it because I will use it later on. But for now, not so much. Um, let's go ahead and sell all this. Um, I'm going to sell that too. Screw it. So we have component slots available in shoulders, helmet, and chest. Chaos Resist is just over maximum, so that's fine. I think two Anti-Venom Cells will do nicely. Um, actually, let's see what we got here. So we got Chains of Oleron, which could be good. Um, what else? Ch -ch -ch. We could take the extra armor absorb from the ancient armor plate. That'd be okay as well. So what's our armor absorb now? 84%. That could definitely be good. Um, the whole point of all these upgrades was to get more armor, which I've definitely achieved. Uh, what's that? A rift stone? Weapons? No, that's not happening. Um, I think... I think the uh, Ancient Armor Plate is probably the best bet, although another Scaled Hide would also be quite good. And then, so if we put Scaled Hide here, Anti-Venom Salve here and here, I think that'll do. Um, having said that, I do need, or I do have Aether um, damage coming up. How much are we over on this? 13. I think it's 18. Okay, we can't really do that. Okay, I think we just make two of those, and can we get another scaled hide? Yeah. Okay, that'll do us for now. These augments are not ideal, but 80, like, we have max resist for everything except for Aether. Um, can we make... We can't make Aether Resist pots yet. That's fine. Do we have any? Got one. Alright, that'll do for now. Um, I'm going to hang on to the Gluttony Relic. I'm going to put that out of my inventory. I'm going to chuck that in there as well. And uh, I'll hang on to these helmets, but I kind of have the feeling I'm not going to end up using them now. They're kind of past the point where they're useful. I'll keep them for now, but um, most likely not. 
Okay, so let's go, now that we've spent 10 minutes messing around with our gear, um, let's go back to Fort Icon, and we'll go get the ashes from the Tomb of the Archon. Um, we'll need to put these back on. And why do I feel like there was another, yeah, Presence of Virtue. I actually, I think I've had this for several levels now, and this is the the first time I'm using it, so. Um, I don't feel silly at all. Yeah, look at that. Health bar's barely even moving. Um, having said that, I did have Ascension active, so 70 flat damage absorption is pretty good. Um, armor, res um, armor absorption is almost capped, so 98% of our armor is being used. All right, we should be significantly tanky. Er. Um, with the exception of Aether, which actually is coming up right now, so that's a little scary. There is a um, an Aether version of that chest slash helmet augment that uh, that I was going to make for the chaos. Um, I will need to look where it comes from, but I think it's either Black Legion or maybe Rovers or um, Homestead. I don't think it's Homestead. I'm going to say it's Black Legion. I'm probably wrong, but um, there is an augment for chest and helmet that does Aether resistance. So I will maybe look into getting that. Okay, so we're in the tomb of the... Archon. Um, there's a lot of fire damage in here, so don't come in here with less than maximum fire resistance. Damage is definitely nice. Right, so on this first floor, there's basically nothing here. Um, there is, I think, a totem. Um, that might be on the next floor. I think it's this floor. Um, there's a totem. There's a... Yeah, here's the totem. Ancient spirit totem. I'm going to do this. Just see how tanky the build got. clear the area first. Um, Spirit Totem is going to be undead, so uh, let's see. So two, almost three of these big guys dead before they even got out of the ground is pretty good. Can't complain about that at all. Um, standing in bleeding pools is not great though. That was actually surprisingly easy, so um, Hang on, 1% less resistance, same move speed, don't care about the rest, okay. That is basically Blitz with a different damage type, and as a, takes up a slot in your gear. Uh, this stuff is all going to be rubbish to sell. Um, right, so on this floor there is that particular totem. Um, I think that's it. I think the only other thing on this floor is just a bunch of trash to kill and the door to the next floor. Um, potentially a law note? I can't remember if the law note's on this floor or the next one. Alright, let's just skip through this. The law note, I think, is actually there. A law note. Could be wrong. Yeah, it's not there. Okay, that's fine. Um, so the first floor is basically a totem and get to the second floor. The second floor, uh, monsters have retaliation. I don't think I care. Um, this floor actually has a few things on it. There's a, a few things hidden behind uh, destroyable walls. Um, 
there is a secret entrance to another floor that has a devotion shrine on it. There is the actual boss of the area, uh, who we've actually... We haven't really been sent here to kill him, but uh, he is standing between us and the chest we need. I can't remember if we have to kill him to open the chest, um, but I'm going to. He does a ton of fire damage, and... Um, I'm going to make a build around his hammer one day. One day, I swear. Um, something like a an aura character with guardians. Uh, but not today. There's the lore note. Right next to this guy who was mentioned in the lore note. It does say who sent him, I think, or maybe it just like you know my employer sent me to do whatever. Um, so you can definitely read that on your own. And as I always say about the the lore in this game, it's actually pretty good for an ARPG. Um, I recommend reading it. It's a good good little story. A lot of the world building is done in those lore notes, um, especially in places like Port Valbury, where it kind of details the last few days of the city. Um, this loose torch will open this bit of the wall. You go in here and there's another destroyable wall, and you can go down to the next floor, which has uh, a devotion shrine. This is the there's a boss behind me gate, so we will go and have a look in here. This guy does a lot of fire damage. I'm not going to use Ascension just yet, and we'll just see how we go. Health bar is barely moving. It did drop a little bit. Um, but having said that, I'm pretty happy with how tanky we are now. Uh, Scorch rune legs. Same armor, more health, no less move speed, and Eli res instead of chaos res, and we would lose plus three to shadow dance, which is defensive ability, basically. Um, we could use this; it would free up the relic slot, so we could use a um, a poison relic, or maybe go back to gluttony. Could be alright. Uh, when you do this area, come in here, grab all these chests, and then this is the exit. Don't take the exit. We want to go back. If you grab all that stuff and then come back here and do the next floor down for the uh, Devotion Shrine, then you can just leave and you don't miss those uh, chests. Uh, otherwise you will have to come back for the chests or skip them. Okay, these guys do a lot of bleeding damage. When they die, they leave bleeding on the floor. Um, you don't want to stand in that. There's a little hidden area here with a chest. A lot of this stuff you won't see unless you spin your camera. Um, I don't like spinning the camera. I find it disorienting. Um, so I just kind of remember where they are and go from there. What are you? Skeleton Warlock, okay. Yeah, so for me, I don't like it. Um, if you're okay with spinning the camera, then by all means. But uh, it's not something I'll be doing. Blade Dance is Talisman. Is that another relic? Yeah, so this is the upgrade of the uh, dual wield relic. There's another one after this as well. Another more fancy one. Mutilate grants the ability to dual wield, 18% chance to be used, bunch of physical damage. It's actually not too bad. Um, we're not using it. <laughs> One thing I both love and hate about Grim Dawn is just you pick up an item and you're like, oh, that looks really cool for this build that I don't have, and you just, I want to go make that now. It's this never-ending parade of builds that you want to make. Which is good, because, uh, I mean, I've got over a thousand hours in Grim Dawn already, and um, there's still stuff I would happily go and make a new character to play.
All right, let's see under him. The Slaughter Relic. Plus one to Nightblade. Hmm. Plus one to Nightblade. That might be worth using. Um, this is the shrine we came for. Ancient Heart. It is a little pricey, but, um, you know, Devotion Shrines are good. Okay, plus one there. Let's us unlock Murmur again. Right, so we're done there. Let's go back to Fort Icon. Um, I'm going to take, but not use, that um, uh, Aether Resistance Potion. Um, let's just sell all of this. I don't think I need any of it. Will I use those? I don't know. Will I use those? Definitely not. Um, that is a lot of health. If we swap those in, Chaos is slightly uncapped. We can now take this off. I think we use these. Um, as much as plus three to Shadow Dance is nice. What is that? 16 defensive chance to avoid attacks. Um, as much as it is nice, I think we... I think we kind of have to do it this way. There we go. Um, and now I need to go and get... Another scaled hide. Um, I think I'm just going to rip it off those pants. No, I'm not. I put them in the bank. All right. I think I'm just going to make a new one. Um, it's probably not worth destroying the old item. Um, I'm definitely not saying that just so I don't have to go to the bank. Okay. And then we go back to Fort Icon. And we'll go do the prison underneath it. Um, me being the genius I am, I forgot to get that potion that I was talking about. All right, I think, I think we're organized. Definitely not organized. <laughs> I should go visit my friend in Homestead who sells potions as well. Okay. Feel a little safer with that proc now. Um, we've got the lifesteal and Nova from the belt. We've got the uh, other lifesteal proc from Gluttony. We should be fine. Okay, so inside Fort Icon, uh, we're here for two things. We are here to kill the guy at the end, um, whose name escapes me, Commander, is it Lucius? I think it's Commander Lucius. Um, we're here to kill him, we're here to collect dynamite, um, okay. I thought they were rare spawns, but that's fine, I'll take dynamite, no problem. Um, so we're here for dynamite, um, of which there is another guaranteed one just around the corner. We're here to collect the supplies, which you can either give to Homestead, which is a bad idea, don't do that, or you can give it to um, the Black Legion. Thought there was one of these here. Um, so Commander Lucius and the supplies is what we're here for. The supplies, you can, uh, I won't say every time, but I don't remember ever having this particular path blocked. If you come down the side here, the supplies are always here, right next to this guaranteed dynamite. Um, so, this is actually a pretty good place to farm dynamite as well, it seems. But, um, I, I'm actually not sure about that. This is the only one that's guaranteed, and uh, getting two dynamite out of one box is uh, is definitely rare. Somewhere around here, there is 
an access point to a secret area. I can't remember exactly where it is. It might be this one, this little secret room here. Um, but I can't remember how to get in there. It's definitely a, a wall you got to knock down, though. Here it is. Okay. Probably not worth coming in here. But, uh, hey, free stuff. All it costs is time, so yeah, I guess it's not free. <laughs> feel like there's another one. I think there's another one, but mm, maybe not. That's fine. We'll continue through here. We'll go kill Commander Lucius. Um, one thing with Lucius, he has a meteor attack. It's Aether Meteor. Um, if it hits you, even with full resistances, it's going to hurt. Uh, with my resistances and being low health because Nightblade, um, it will probably kill me. Just straight up, boom, dead. Uh, it is a shotgun type attack with multiple projectiles, so potentially you could survive by some of them missing. Um, but it's not worth taking the risk. Uh, which is why I just used the Aether Resistance Potion. That'll last for more than long enough to get through this, and there's nothing super dangerous after this. So, uh, I want that scrap. Okay, here we go. This is the boss door, and this is the boss. So we'll see if he actually gets to use his uh, shotgun. That flamethrower can do a decent amount of damage. Um, I am going to teleport away. As you can see, that's a lot of projectiles. Um, they landed in two clumps, so I probably would have been fine. Um, but probably, again, is not something I want to rely on. Um, if I could click on things, it would be great. So this is his MI, two-handed weapon. It has the... Um, Basically, the, the Meteor attack as a proc. It's pretty good. Uh, you can definitely make a build around this. Um, I've seen some Death Knight builds that use this as their endgame weapon. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I prefer dual wielding, but that's fine. Uh, for a Death Knight, that is. Or Sword and Board. It's also good. Okay, so we got the explosives and... Uh, well, the explosives was what we were sent to kill him for. So we could blow this wall and get out to the north. So we destroy that barricade. Uh, that's what we were actually sent there to get. We weren't specifically tasked with killing him. However, he had them, so he had to die for us to get them. So kind of was sent there to kill him. Um, and we have some quest turn-ins to do. So... We're going to talk to Inquisitor Creed. He's going to tell us to go to the Necropolis, which is fine. Yep, we'll go to the Necropolis. With the supplies that we got from the uh, the armory, which is the area we were just in, uh, you can give them to these guys, or you can give them to Homestead. Now, Homestead is really, really easy to get max faction with. Um, Black Legion is less easy. So there's our last bag. Plus 500 for Black Legion, minus 250 for Homestead, and 5 scrap. So uh, I definitely recommend uh, giving the supplies to the Black Legion and not to Homestead. Homestead reputation you can get from just basically running around killing stuff. Um, I will accept the quest to deal with the Witch down here. Uh, we don't want any of her, her gear, we don't need any of her MIs, we don't want her helmet for killing her. I'm just going to unlock her and then pretend she doesn't exist. So basically, um, 
Da, 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 da. Why should I trust you? Okay, I'm gonna defy Reeve and not kill her. And then I'm gonna tell her I can't help her right now. So she can keep her quests. Um, every one of her quests that you do will give you minus reputation for Black Legion. And if you look at, where is she? The Outcast. Killing Ethereals, you're gonna do a ton of that. Killing Chthonians, you're gonna do a ton of that as well. She will max out her reputation probably before you get to 100, just from what you do with killing Ethereals and Chthonians. So don't kill her, I mean, unless you want her hat, which you have to kill her for. Um, don't kill her, but don't do any of her quests. Just unlock her, just like this, and, and walk away and pretend she's not there. Um, you will have access to her augments, um, and it'll be fine. Um, putting more points into Ascension because I like damage absorption, and 124% all damage is also pretty good. Having said that, we really need to also put points in Righteous Fervor. Consecration's maxed, which is nice, but Righteous Fervor. I also want to get to Path of the Three. Also want the Guardians of Empyrean. There's a lot of stuff up here that I want, so we may end up leaving this at uh, 9 out of 12, or maybe we'll take it to 12 of 12 and leave it at the soft cap. See what happens. Um, we have a quest to turn in for Death's Vigil. Which is uh, not in the Blood Grove. So let's go to where they actually are. Okay. I think that's the last quest turn in we have, although we could con uh, consider doing the, uh, the Hidden Path now as well. It's plus one skill point, I think. Okay, yes, I have them. And we don't have enough reputation to perform the ritual now. So that's fine. I think we're going to leave it here for now. Um, that'll be the end of, what's this, episode 9? But uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.